A mysterious pneumonia outbreak in China has been identified as a previously unknown coronavirus. A SARS-like virus which has infected hundreds in China. That now has the World Health Organization on edge. At least four people have died and hundreds more are sick. Na unang person under investigation na nagpositibo sa 2019 novel coronavirus. Tested positive for the novel coronavirus. This is the first case in the country. If there was a word for it, it would have been fear. It was, everyone was afraid. Some of our staff quit, others, others may not understood what was happening. COVID was novel. Nobody has seen this before. Nobody has treated this before. And therefore, it was really a great equalizer. How do you take care of patients? How do you take care of other people while ensuring that your family do not also get sick. Well, the very first thing that entered my mind was um, how ready are we? You know, it was really more of readiness and preparedness to consider, um, especially that we knew that uh, we were developing testing protocols at that time. No country in the world was prepared um, in this pandemic. So we have to deal with what we have. No? Uh, our hospitals, no hospital in Cebu was really prepared for a pandemic in this uh, massive scale. No? So we need to redesign literally uh, the way we do things, implementing infection control protocols. But it's not just that, it's changing the culture. No, because prior to this, we were not wearing a mask. That needed to change. Testing is very vital, plays a pivotal role in terms of contact tracing and then for isolation and quarantine purposes. So if you remove the testing at the beginning of the pandemic, and even at the height of the pandemic here in Central Visayas, we would be, you know, siguro nangangapa tayo hanggang ngayon. I still remember the times or in the anxiety of waiting for the results was a major issue. So when the administration of the Cebu Doc Group told us about setting up its own PCR lab, it was a most welcome uh, development, especially since the uncertainty really started from not being able to diagnose definitively. So we formed seven core branches. One is the clinical standards. We asked the help of Dr. Gerard Garcia, and together with Dr. Mitzi Chua, the infectious disease specialist, to come up with the protocols. We formed the science and innovation, uh, research, another branch we call the resilience branch under the psychiatrist to deal with the mental anguish of the residents and the healthcare personnel. We had an analytics group we, we, we're in, uh, we provide data for the, so that the management group will be able to handle and approach the different protocols that we are establishing. Then we have also the ethics, because during that time, because of the, so many cases, we have to do ethical uh, decisions. Last was the communications group, which is very important to disseminate all these things that uh, we have been doing. As the chief resident of the internal medicine during the pandemic, a lot of hard decisions had to be made. Assigning physicians in different COVID areas gives me the burden in making sure it is fair and that no one will experience fatigue and burnout. Defending the crisis management team's decision to the resident physicians is very challenging considering I needed to acknowledge their individual concerns and meet them halfway or in a common ground. That was my role to consolidate um, all those um, policies and guidelines. And collaboration was really important because um, you have to make them understand why these policies or these guidelines are to be followed. Um, as, as the head of the COVID team, to, to put that in mind, no? 
care for the patients and you know dedication to to help them um, made me overcome my my fear in in this pandemic. I believe we fared very well. No? Um, we had we had a lot of patients during the the first wave that actually survived no? compared to other centers. No? We were fortunate to have that. We were um, very innovative. No? Uh, we came up with a plasma therapy, which is one of the first in the country to successfully do so um, in response to treat COVID patients. No? Because at that time, there were no medications yet for COVID. It is actually removing the patient's quote-unquote dirty plasma and replacing it with a clean, ordinary, fresh frozen plasma. Uh, our patient came in very sick and uh, intubated in the emergency room. She had an O2 saturation of about 50s. She was still talking, but of course we have to intubate her because she's already compensating. And with the interventions that we did, she went home and was ready to go home on the 11th day. Uh, it was quite unheard of for somebody who gets intubated and very sick to go home within two weeks. I was there five nights, the worst, no? worst, my worst nightmare. High fever, 39, oxygen, huh? labored breathing, harsh breathing. But ang nakapait good sa tanan kayo are alone. As in alone, 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 alone. No? Nobody to call. Huh? Kay gusto ko mahawid sa akong cellphone. Dili, yun ko kasustain dahi. Tagdiyot lang yun. Kay Kakapoy na lang yun. Gabi na gabi eh. The nights were worse. Worse good ang nights. Kuan yun. Ang ako lang labored breathing. Ako madungong. Ang harsh. Yun na lang. I'm humbled. Huh? I'm very grateful. Huh? Kay at my age, 16 na yun. Diabetic pag yun ko. It's not as if I'm young. I'm strong pa ko. Ang akong immunity. Akong resistance. Ana, ana. So, Bargyod ang bisat si Kinsa na ang that's why everyone was so ang na interesado kay sila na unsa na ko. Wala gid ko na bother at first. Pero dito na ko na bother like pagkita na nako sa tanang scenario nga ingon ato ang porma. Rag okay. Magano gid ta ni brace yourself gid every time. Close contact kay mi sa mga positive patient or knowing nga uh, wa pa ta kay baw nga positive ba na siya. So, murag makuyawan sa tabang. Um, one of my friends offered me to stay in her condo unit. Naarabod yun na mo ang requirements, like i-prefer na mo taman tanan, kay maigisulti sa ko ang amiga. Then after ato niya, na sila nga, we're not, not, we're are, we are not allowed to enter daw, kay it's because we are a frontliner. Ato nga time, kay murag laina sa feeling nga, mas maayo na siguro nga, Dili ko nurse kay Dili Raka Unsaon, Dili Raka Hilabtan. Medyo ko sa OR first and then wala naman dyan may surgery at that time kay gi-cancel na kay everyone is really in panic and then adok na dyan sila magpa-admit. So ang rise na po nga mga station is ang COVID area so that's the reason why I volunteered for her to be assigned in the COVID area. Nagandyo ko mga moments yung ganaan ako mo give up knowing nga bugat kaya ang workload inside the COVID area. Like, we take care of me around 10 to 13 patients, and most of them were intubated and requires oxygenation. Ko bisag na kulbahan ko kung sa posibilidad nga may tabo. Ako aragi akong siyang gisugot ragi ko nga diha ko maasign. Kay nakabalungod ko sir nga protektahan ko ko sa San Carlos Doctors Hospital kung sa may tabo sa kuha. Pada yun ginmitan na ng trabaho, bisan pag naapay mga kuha na yung mga ingato nga pandemic man, pada yun lang yun. Mung na yung lang yun nga life goes on, di, pada yun. Those who are frontliners in in this pandemic, we had to house them in the hospital. We provided food, we we provided shelter and, and the necessary support. Um, not only in terms of basic resource, but we also provided psychological support for our healthcare workers. You know, the, the motto then, and I think until now, is really we take care of our own. You know, so I, I, I saw that they, they really helped all of us. When someone acquired COVID or na COVID siya, they get quarantined here in the hospital. And uh, 
all of that is free of charge. I would say the most struggling or most difficult would be the mental aspect of COVID. The fears and the anxieties secondary to safety and uncertainty of the future is really the most difficult part. So the pandemic actually has changed our approach in the management of patients, the clinic operations, the hospital protocols. We have to continue serving people even at times of uncertainty because, uh, because as doctors, we should try to help people um, to the best we can do. When it was locked down, we did not have any protective physical equipment. We relied on donations primarily. Met organizations gave us the supplies through the Ormok City Medical Society. We did the initiative to get our own supplies. With the consent of the mother hospital, we were able to get supplies from other suppliers. Because if we wait for the supplies from Cebu, there was no boat. We would run out of supplies to protect our staff. You cannot do this alone. We need to, uh, to help each other, our med techs, rad techs, nurses, attendant, and even housekeeping. Everyone in the hospital will play a major role, regardless whether disaster, man-made, or um, outbreak of a certain disease. Our hope is that we look to a future where we no longer correlate COVID to um, lockdowns, uh, fear and even death. So we here at Bohol Doc believe that we can stay ahead of this virus. Actually, nabalaka gid me, pero uh, nagpremis ako ng banana before ko nangana kay kung unsa gid writing buhaton kung mga tuto bagit na oksuda where taas kayo ang kaso or relang tasa denao pero wala ko expect mag viral. Mas ang gigo na sa doctor na ako tuwa. Mam pwede ipost ng picture. Pag hibaw na ko nag viral, nalipay ko. Kay dili ragani kami day ang nablast ni baby. Nablasted na mong nablasted ni baby ang uban tao. Like na kita sa day sa uban tao nga amidst the many problems or challenges niya tungi pangatubang. Na pagidi ay hope bang. Like there's still a brighter tomorrow. The trials carried out by the U.S. pharmaceutical giant Pfizer and the German manufacturer BioNTech suggest they have created a coronavirus vaccine which is more than 90% effective. When the institution or the hospital uh, plan to order to get uh, vaccines from pharmaceutical manufacturers, when the DOH announced the rollout of vaccination for healthcare workers, the A1, so we grabbed that opportunity because it was actually the free vaccines. So uh, we, we started then the, the vaccination mid of February 2021. When Dr. Young or our top leaders uh, eventually submitted themselves to be the first recipients of the vaccination, somehow it has uh, convinced no, a lot and their apprehensions were done and they submitted themselves to the first dose of the vaccine. Eventually, the project Balik Buhay uh, tapped us and uh, considered us as one of their vaccination facilities. And from that time on, we continue to vaccinate as many people as we can. Oh, we're almost reaching one million. Uh, the latest amount, the latest count is 937,000 individual inoculated. Because for me, I will always fight Vaccination is the way to liberation. Um, I believe we've become stronger as a unit. Um, and we're prepared to face anything else. No? Um, we're more responsive. And then we react quickly already no? um, because of what happened. It's, it, it has made us um, bolder, um, innovative, and well-prepared. Uh, a pandemic is a social disease. No? It is not just what we see in the clinic in a per in a person to person basis, but a pandemic being a social di uh, disease requires a social solution. 
example, the masking and the physical distancing, they would be part of our so-called evolving normal and they will always put us in a safer place. People have begun to understand what it is to be able to protect not only yourself but also to protect others as well. Salamat lagi po sa ginoo, mara ginoo. Nga, siya ragay magbot. Miracle, it's a miracle. Thanks be to God. Thank you for this opportunity na makasulti ko na from my own personal experience. Dili kita mo tago dito. Nga di na lang maukop na lang ta. Di na lang ta mong gawas. Tsaka yung pamantag mahimo. Na hinay lang, hinay hinay lang. Mapotragya pong tadiha. Back to normal with a new twist, new normal. Every day is a miracle. We live each day as they come, no? Kay unsa pa man? I don't dream of anything. Dago, no? Live each day as it comes. Why did I become a healthcare worker? It was, it was that time that. You, you you will have your answer and um, even without the pandemic ba it should be a question that we ask I will always see them in a different light after that because um, most of them when they answer the question why am I doing this um, some of them they probably did not find the answer but they they showed up no, grit grit, grit right, to to move on even when you don't know the answer, to to move on even when it's unsure, um, to to move and to help and um, to be there for others.